Hello, I'm Typo T Rex. And I'm Jester. And you're not watching twitch.tv slash Typo's Games. Instead, you're watching twitch.tv slash KingJester719. And let's just get into it. We have another box opening. This time, Vivid Voltage in Set our, four. In our um, <laughs> box marathon. Have you been opening it with a knife the whole time? Yeah. I haven't even noticed. <laughs> I brought my <laughs> knife so that I didn't have to. Yeah, fight with it. Yeah, very smart. Feng, oh. feng shui. Yeah, I believe that's what that's what you're trying to yeah. spell there. Uh, but yeah, you you can tell I just had dinner because I came in hot. I have all the energy, and I'm gonna yeah. burn it all in the one video. <laughs> even though, <laughs> 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 even though the We're set that arguably I'd be the most hyped for is Battle Styles. Uh, d I'm not gonna disagree with you. Vivid Voltage had a lot of really cool called cards, but I don't think it had a lot that like really impacted meta. Yeah, because Orpedal sucks. <laughs> Like it has Pikachu in it. Like that's a great money card. Yeah. Um, it had the. Uh, the Y'all, I could have pulled the Charizard out of there and the Pikachu out of here, and yeah. we'd have just been off to the races. Yeah. It has um, the Amazing Rears too, which I really love the artwork on those. And uh, you know, some uh, no, the Yveltal isn't even in this one. <laughs> I was gonna say I could use some more Yveltal so I can get get around to putting my expanded deck together. In when real the Yveltal come out? That's a good question. Uh, it's either this set or one of the uh, the holiday sets. So, I, I'm pretty sure it was one of the holiday sets. So. But yeah, All we right. were talking about it a little bit before we started recording. Like, it's been a long time since that Facebook post I made in the Georgia yeah. Smash group. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, the reason me and Jordan met is because he tried to host a... Oh, Yo! Pikachu VMAX off the <laughs> first card! And that, that unfortunately, is not the big, no, chunky one. If no. it was the, the ghost or whatever. They, the well, rainbow? Yeah. Yeah. If it was the rainbow, or definitely, definitely the big money. But that one's only like 30 or $40 now. Yo, yeah. it's still Pikachu. Yeah. Look, I am just pulling cards to be happy to pull fun. cards. Yeah, yeah, I understand you. I got you. But uh, ironic that we were just talking about, uh, you know, pulling a trick. It's the first through. pack. <laughs> yeah. But no, uh, for those of you who don't know, um, obviously, if you're watching the YouTube channel, you guys have figured it out. But me and him first met because of Super Smash Brothers. I think I posted Smash Four. Yeah, Smash Four. Yeah. I I essentially was the revival of Middle Georgia Smash, uh, because I was just. Like, I had gotten to the game, and I had started watching competitive play, and I really wanted to play in a tournament, and I just posted about it in a Facebook group, and, like, four people commented within an hour, all adding you on the Facebook post. It was like, hey, this is the guy you want to talk to. And at the time, I wasn't running anything, but I think your friend Aaron had managed to yeah. secure the venue. And I was like, this is <laughs> he <laughs> worked, Marco's Pizza. So he worked at Marco's Pizza, <laughs> yeah. and he mentioned a game night to his boss. And his boss was like, yeah, that's cool. We'll do it. And so for, God, it, what, how long was it? Like a it, it half a year a while. Almost? Yeah, I half think we did Ultimate. At yeah, like we, did the, we, did the, we were the first Ultimate tournament in Georgia, oh, I, I didn't even realize we were the first yes, one. Yeah, I because remember everybody Miles was coming down. Everybody yeah. was waiting till the next week, but we were like, you know what? The game comes out. We're just going to run it today. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, uh, you know, it was a lot of fun. And uh, ever since then, it's been downhill. Yeah. I Yeah. <laughs> I still, every year, because I took that video of the whole place on Snapchat, yeah. every year on that day, I get a Snapchat rewind yeah. of the video that I took. It's probably one of your like more of you videos too because Oh of, Gold yeah. Cave of Toughness. Hey, <laughs> that's phenomenal. Yeah. You know, I could have sworn like you were supposed to get either a um a rainbow rare or gold rare in like every box, but it, it looks like it's been every other box for you. Um no, so in the first one I just got the full art sableye, the second one was gold scrapper, the third yeah. one was the rainbow and okay. no gold. Okay, I just I missed the rainbow in the last one. Yeah, it was the Pokemon yeah. Breeder. That's right. Yeah. Uh so yeah, like we've been, God, we've been at it for years yeah, at this point. Yeah, we, we've been friends for a while. Uh, I'll be honest. Um, <laughs> that wasn't the expectation. <laughs> no, the not at all. Um, if you've ever heard me talk about like Smash Brothers players and stuff, I'm seeing lo lots of dust clops. I want the yes. dust noir. Um, but like, if you ever hear me talk about like my old Smash guys, I've seen so many people come and go, so many times, and the fact that you know Jordan has hung around for so long is I really appreciate it. You know, because especially like. Uh, I wouldn't have stayed with Smash as long as I had if he hadn't come back. Yep. Uh, and I was about to quit Pokemon because no one was playing with me until I talked Austin and Jordan into playing with me. Unfortunately, Jordan is making everyone else want to quit. But yeah. <laughs> Look, it's just because they're... I, I'm going to just say it to the stream. If you're quitting because of me, you're bad at the card game. Just get good and beat me. Yeah. Because I have no problem playing with you. Like, there are some decks that I'll avoid playing against you. Like, I don't even... Oh. dies! And Charizard! Let's oh, go! that was a great pack. Yeah. 
Like, uh, there's some decks I'll avoid playing against you if you're playing your deck, or you'll right. avoid playing your deck against. Uh, right. Like, me. if we want matchup practice, yeah. there's a absolutely no reason to practice. Like, if I ever, whenever I get Phalanx put together, there's absolutely zero reason to practice Phalanx versus Jolteon. Yeah. It's just not worth it because no. I, unless I completely draw nothing in my opening hand, I'm going to donk you. Because fail baby Phalanx with a full board one shots the Vmax. That's silly. Yeah. So it kills me that Jolteon Vmax only has 300 HP. Like, <laughs> given that it has free retreat, I think it it's honestly fair. It, it makes sense, but man, it it's already a phenomenal deck. But if it had 10 more HP, Steelix? it would have been phenomenal. Hey, I got two of these guys now. A, if only you were any good. Why didn't we get a Steelix Vmax, man? I don't know. It's Again. one of the bigger Vs. It's as big as Bl Blissey. Yeah. Like, it, it's so strange that uh, the, the Pokemon that they chose to give Vmaxes and not. Like, obviously, more po popular Pokemon are going to get Vmaxes like Mew. Like yeah. Charizard. Yeah. Pikachu. Yeah. But Charizard Vmax is so bad. Well, that's because Charizard is bad. <laughs> like, it's it's so frustrating that, uh you know, there are some cards. This is the best Charizard yeah. <laughs> in standard. <laughs> and there's been a few Charizards printed. Uh <laughs> Like, because there's one in the next set, uh, the the Charizard V Star. Yeah, I think that one could be interesting. I think that one's actually going to be decent because, because you're going to have Arceus yeah. to set it up. Yeah. Well, also it has the um the V Star attack where it does like three yeah, hundred. Oh yeah, three twenty. Like that's enough to one shot most V Maxes. You yeah. put the command belt on it and you do three fifty. <laughs> yeah. Just the only <laughs> thing you don't one shot is what Eternatus or like Duraludon with Big Charm. Yeah, I would say Pokemon with Big Charm. That's yeah. the only thing you're not going to one shot. And, uh, like, let's be honest, who puts Big Charm on a Eternatus nowadays? I was going to say, at this yeah. point, it's not worth it just because yeah. of how much. You need damage output. Yeah. I do think that when, like, I think once the new set comes out, Eternatus is not going to run Big Charm at all. There's no yeah. need. You yeah. just need a There's hit no for one shots. Now, the, I feel like the only reason people play Big Charm uh, in Eternatus was because of the Galar and Zapdos V. Um, yep. And that's kind of fallen out of favor right now because there's... Well, first off, no one's playing any big dark decks. So. Uh, no, the problem is Mew. Mew. If if you're wondering why a fighting card is rotate is not running around in the meta right now, it's because Mew. Well, I mean, it could be both. Because <laughs> what's the point of playing the the Zapdos when you know there's nothing for it to really hit? I mean, like it I'd, only does 170 damage too, so it's yeah. not even enough to one shot. Like, I'd argue some of the support. The of, the effect is why you want to run it if you want to run it now because it discards special energy. That's fair. Yeah. So you can potentially stall people out by discarding all their special yeah. energy. But, uh, like, p people really played Big Charm because of the Galar and Zapdos. It was funny when uh, people were doing that against ADP in Eternatus. I'm like, I mean, that's cute. You tried, but uh, I'm still doing enough damage to one-shot yeah. you because of the ADP boost. Like, I always say the ADP boost doesn't really matter. No, it matters. It, it matters a lot. It matters <laughs> way too much. <laughs> but it wasn't the reason we played it. <laughs> so, ADP was so good. So what I'm hearing, because everyone keeps complaining about Arceus and comparing it to AD ADP, the problem is just... Uh, you know, Arceus, because for those of you who don't actually know what ADP is, it's Arceus, Dialgia, and Palkia. And I was sitting here staring at the uh, this banner that we got from GameStop, and I was like, man, where's Arceus? And I was like, oh, you know what? Arceus really is the problem. You know, he, he's the god of creation, and he creates unhealthy yep. metas is apparently what he creates. Yep. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. And we say unhealthy meta. I think he's going to be a great support Pokemon, and, you know... I don't think it's going to be as bad as ADP was, where ADP was, you know, the ADP deck. You played ADP, you played Zacian, and you saw a little bit of variety after that, but at least with uh, the Arceus, you're going to be seeing, like, everything under the sun playing yeah. Arceus. Like, what I'm excited for with Arceus has nothing to do with what Arceus is going to do and everything to do with what, peop what, what Pokemon people are going to try to play with Arceus. You know, oh, I think it's been a while since we streamed or done any kind of videos. Pardon me, my, my feet are cold. i got to put on my slippers. But uh, half the reason I'm putting on my slippers is because I love them and I wanted to show them off since we're opening Pokemon cards. I don't know if you've seen them, Ooh, Jordan. Way more. Yeah, the Pikachu yeah. ones. Th yeah. They light up too, don't they? They do. <laughs> kind of hard to see uh, on uh, camera. You see the little light there. Yeah, you can see it a little bit. <laughs> uh, GLC Water Decks, anybody? This big boy is great. Yeah. Uh, what's his? The ability is irrelevant. Uh, it's when you attach an energy from your hand to him, he recovers some special conditions, and that's not that's not super important. The yeah. important part is, uh, for four colorless, it does ten plus forty for every water energy attached to him. So you run him with like the rain dance, blastoise, <sighs> and stuff, and you just accelerate. Yeah. God, I miss blastoise. Side. I think the luge ba blastoise is arguably the better one, uh, because that looks at the top six cards of your deck, and you can attach as many energies as you find there. Um, but yeah. Uh, I was going to say something. I can't forget. 
forget what it was. But like in your yeah. first two, in in your first two hands in the water deck, like you should hit four energies. Yeah, especially because like you only have uh, one copy of bucket, but you know bucket still goes a long way. Yep. That uh, that Trumbeak is decent. Yeah. I can't remember who it was, but there was a a PokeTuber who that who, gross who was playing uh, Amazing Rare Yveltal with the yeah. Trumbeak, and he was he was winning. He <laughs> he wasn't winning fast or a lot, but he was winning. I was like, that's cute. I like that. I love that that uh, that Yveltal. It's so so much fun to play and figure out ways to make it work. Dad, that Ho Oh building expanded <laughs> is it's absurd. And uh, you know, every now and then I'll tweak it. Um, I don't think there's anything coming out in Brewing Stars that really helps it, but because you already have Ultra Ball, <laughs> yeah, and you don't care about damage, the so Choice no, Belt not does nothing yeah. for you. Like I, I can't think of anything that would help it, but you know. Um, I could post, like, a fifth video talking about it because I think I've made, like, one or two changes. Like, it was just, like, adding Nogalord to it. But that Nogalord, um, Nogginal and Goozlord, yeah. uh, Tag Team GX, has solved so many of my problems with that deck. It's like, man, I need to steal two prizes real fast. Oh, man, I don't have enough energies. Because the great thing about it is uh, I don't even need the, the double colorless energy to attack with it. I just need the Ho-Oh flip into the Ninja Boy. Oh my goodness! Yeah, and it's like oh, two free prize cards. Wash energy, yeah. Charmeleon. But yeah, when I was going through all that bulk, like I, there were a million Charmeleons, and yeah. I had not a single Charizard. Yeah, because it's a short print too. Like the fact that they they print Charizard in so many sets, but they make it so hard to get. Like um, I think it was not not my boy Dakota Dakota that helps out, out with Atomic. He, uh, he said he quit playing the game because they were printing too many Charizards and they were just trying to make people buy packs, which, I mean, I get from a certain perspective from, like, the consumer that you're you're artificially inflating the, the price and scarcity of the, the packs because people want the Charizard. But at the same time, from Pokemon's perspective, why would you not want people to buy packs? Yeah. So, like, I couldn't really blame them. Uh Like, something, something new that has popped up recently, my... I was I've been on vacation for the last week, but my my manager texted me a picture because at Academy we now have Pokemon card packs. Yeah, you sent me that picture and I was like, why? <laughs> like so we have for five ninety nine, it is the it is a one pack like blister with uh, a coin and then a promo card. Yeah. Like, that's expensive for a single blister, too, but I feel like that's about right for blisters that come with coins, and sometimes they'll come with, like, promo cards. Because uh, earlier we were talking about the Berserker in Meowth. Um, I think I bought, like, a special edition at, at Target where it had the Galarian Berserker with the boosted damage and then the Meowth with the Evolution Roar. That so, would be good. Yeah, to me, I thought those came in the same set because I got them at the same time. But they do not. Yeah. Um. What else? That has come in those promos that we've bought. Oh, the uh, Cup the, food, the yeah. baby Urshifus. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the Umbreon and Espeon too, which I think we need one of those for the cube. And Umbreon. I yeah, I, GameStop got the Espeons, but they didn't get the Umbreon, and I was <laughs> super upset. <laughs> that Zapdos is decent. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, that's what I'm thinking of, right? The one that hits GX. Yeah. yeah. Discard all energy from it. It does 160 to a V or a GX. Yeah. It's not a bad card. I still kind of want to put her together that like single prize or electric deck that we we talked about forever ago that you see running around every now and then. Like it's not like it's not guaranteed to win you <laughs> any sort of tournament. Like you're gonna have to work for it, but you know it's a great oh, budget. Oh goodness! Deck. Could you uh, putting it together with like echoing horns and um, telescopic sights or command belts and just sniping Genesects? Actually, it does get much better with uh, the command belts. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, sniping yeah. Genesects off the bench and then you just echoing horn it back and do it again. Hmm. Maybe it's not as bad as I'm thinking. Again, I really like uh, single prizer decks uh, because like their budget. Like very rarely will you. Ooh, Ampharos. That's another card I'm upset that we didn't get like a really cool like VMAX or something for. Because I like Ampharos. I don't like his design that much. I think he's kind of kind of goofy looking. Yeah. But uh, that attack's kind of interesting. Yeah. 120 and 30 to all of your opponent's bench Pokemon that already have damage counters on it. That's not too bad. God, we're still only we're still on the first side of this. Jesus, box too. How many how many hits have you got? Five. Five. That's not bad at all. And one's the Pikachu VMAX and one's the Golden Cape. Yeah. So this is a pretty good box. God, we've been at this for so long, Jordan. <laughs> Sableye. What is that? The that's that's the yeah. Cramorant that shoots Aracutas off your bench. 
it, it's not a good deck, but it's a funny nah, deck. It's better now, uh, and it gets better with double turbo. Oh. And a full art Aegis Slash? God, I love that card. That's six hits Damn. in half a box. That's really good. Like, Hopefully the other half is good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that, that Aegis Slash was phenomenal yeah. uh, in ADP. <laughs> oh, my God. G got you around Decidueye, got and it one-shot Decidueye. Decidueye. Yeah. Oh, my God. Um, most people played the Aegis Slash. I, I ended up going with the Duraludon over it. Yeah. Uh, just because I felt like Duraludon was better in more matchups. Like, anything where you had to trade prize cards with, it, like, a single prizer, being able to, to trade a single prizer instead of a two prizer just gave you that extra turn you needed sometimes. So that, that's why I swear by Duraludon, and that's the only reason I like Duraludon as a Pokemon right now. Like, I think he's kind of goofy looking, honestly. Yeah. Have we really gone through... Bro, another one? Hey. <laughs> First one on the other side is a Pikachu. How about that? Both sides started with a Pikachu. One was a V and one was a V Max. There was a box recently that people were saying you could map. I can't remember which one it was. This is like every other pack, though. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. I still can't believe we haven't seen a single one of those those Dust Noir in half a box or It's because I keep pulling Vs. <laughs> hey, listen, I'm gonna need you to pull some some not Vs, Jordan, and just pull a regular old foil for me. But, like, I could just pull all the Vs, and then we could just go go get it. <laughs> no, I don't want to wait. I want instant gratification. Oh, my goodness. Like, I see plenty of Dust Skulls and Dust Clops. Yeah. Just give me the final form. I don't even need that many. I just need one. I like that Zygarde. <laughs> if you have uh, more prize cards remaining, weighable. do 160. Fusion Strike was weighable? Hmm. Uh, Another like, reason to hate that set. <laughs> I, I say Zygarde wasn't bad, but I remember like trying to put the cube together and playing it. Uh, I God, it's a shame we all got so busy because I had yeah. so much fun working on the cube and like having yeah. days where we all got together and do it. Uh, I'm I'm still like I realize that we've had what two sets come out since then. Who's Mr. Yeah. Bath? But I am going to finish that cube, and we are going to play it at some point, <laughs> even if like it's like in the middle of the summer and it's yeah. all about to rotate. I mean, that's fine, because it's a cube. It doesn't have to rotate for anything. Right. Yeah. And then I'll have to start working on the next cube. Yeah. Uh, I do think uh, if we do another one, I want to put the... There's a there's a Bisharp that its attack is a colorless, and it's 30 damage for every Ponyard on your bench. And I want to put that in a cube with, like, the Zororks, so that you can Zorork for the Bisharp and have all four Ponyards on your bench for max damage. That'd be interesting. Yeah, especially in a, a single prize format, it'd be really good. But I remember, because that's in like one of the, the metal structure decks with, um, I think, Zamazenta. And I was like, man, this card would be really interesting. Unfortunately, <laughs> uh, its max damage is only like 90 damage. Which card? The Bisharp. Oh, here. the Bisharp? Yeah. yeah. Now with Zorork, its max damage is 120. Yeah. Which, again, in single prize, this matters, so... I really hope, uh, you know, we get some other really cool V-Stars besides Arceus. Like, don't get me wrong, Arceus is great. Like Dude, That Darkrai card that yeah. they showed, too, that card looks cool. Yeah. So many of those Cromariants. Yeah. I saw Execute, and I was like, oh, yes, my greatest friend. Mumu Cheese. Got, uh, so, again, I keep talking about it, because it's basically the only way I've been playing Pokemon recently, because I don't like any of my standard decks. Yeah. But the uh, Propagation Execute busted. Could never come back. Like, I, I've been playing ADP uh, and expanded a little bit, too. And I was like, man, I should really just put that Execute in here because there's so many times I would love to just uh, not have to discard two cards for the cards that are in my hand. Yeah. But if I don't play the um, Battle Compressor... Talonflame I don't... V? People really wanted that Talonflame V when it first came out. They probably wanted to be able to go first to draw And to draw Dedenne. six cards, yeah. It was... Uh... You could Crobat, Dedenne, and Talonflame all at the same time. It, I feel like it was hard to do all of them and get actual advantage off of all of them. Like, I feel like if you did all that, by the time you get to the Talonflame, you're like, all right, I'm drawing, like, two cards. And then you no, have... No, because the Talonflame is discard your hand and draw six more. Oh, is it? Yeah. That's gross. No, the, the card you always struggled to get value with in those... Crobat. Was Crobat. Yeah. Good. I, I'll be honest. I think the way to make card games more balanced is to make them less consistent. <laughs> oh, yeah. 100%. Like, 
Like, because if everybody's consistent, like equally consistent, then the best card is just going to be the best deck. Like the the problem with Pokemon right now, and I understand why they do it because their their best of three format isn't good. <laughs> <laughs> like, their best of three formats are stupid because there's no side deck. And if you're playing a losing matchup, you're just playing a losing matchup. At least in stuff like Yu-Gi-Oh! Or, or Magic, you have side decks and sideboards where you can, uh, you know, take some cards out and switch things out. But the reason you can't even do that in Pokemon, because you could completely change your deck if you switched 15 cards out. Because most decks don't even play 15 Pokemon sometimes. So I could go... Yeah, like, unless you're Rapid Strike and then yeah. you play 23. Yeah. Like when I was playing ADP, like I don't, I don't know what, like with the energy type I could have switched to, but you know, being able to like side in two copies of Duraludon versus uh, Decidueye would have been phenomenal. Versus you know just having an outright losing matchup. But I don't know. Completely lost your train of thought because I got distracted. What was I saying? <laughs> It's been a long, long stream. It has been. We're, we're getting more to actual Chris uh, levels of energy right now instead of T-Rex. I came in too hot at the beginning of this video. Burned it all up at the beginning. Yep. <laughs> Again, the first half of this boost booster box is crazy, too. Yeah. Listen, I, I don't want this half to be crazy because I'm looking for one card, Jordan. I know. It's, it's, you're not, it's not a crazy card. I'll, I'll pop off for just, you know, a dust, a dust noir. Noir? Yeah, that's, that's, that's what I'm waiting for. That's what I'm saving all my energy for now. Well, would you believe I keep getting white code cards? He just slashed VMAX. <laughs> That's another card I really wanted to be really good. I r really like Aegislash. It's such a cool concept for a Pokemon. Oh, it's a good finishing card. Yeah. Like, once you've taken five prize cards and he does... I think it's Oh, like, God, 310? Yeah, it's a lot of damage. Jesus. But <laughs> to start off with, he, he's not, like, super great. Um, no. But people would play one copy of Aegislash and one copy of Aegislash VMAX in um, ADP. <laughs> So when they got down to their like their last prize card, he's swinging for like three forty. Oh no! And they but, put muscle like could you put like muscle band on him and hit three sixty numbers? Oh, well, you could argue telescopic sight. That's a good card. Um, you don't really see uh, the Aegislash and uh, V Max and uh, and expanded, so you don't really see the muscle band. But also, math is a little bit more difficult with ADP. You rarely end up only having one prize card. When you're taking, you know, two and three off of every attack. I mean, if you take yeah. two and three, that gets you down to one. It, it does, but it, it that would require you to kill a single prizer and then, like, a Dedenne or Crobat. And most of the time, if you're fighting a single prizer deck, they're only playing single prizers. And if you're playing, like, Dedenne's and Crobats, odds are you manage to just kill two Dedenne's or Crobats and you just win. Yeah. That's still absurd. Yeah. I was really upset that the, uh, the Cody Metal Energy wasn't more relevant. Like, when, um... What is it? Tennis Scorch is running around? Yeah. It's like, not relevant because yeah. fire type Pokemon haven't been relevant. Yeah. Coding Energy will probably come back in metal decks uh, once Brilliant Stars comes out. Maybe. Just yeah. So that you don't get annihilated by Entei. <laughs> that would require um, you know, a metal deck to be running around besides Paw Patrol. Because uh, my, my big problem with the Coding Man Metal Energy, besides the fact that fire decks weren't really relevant, was. Uh, Zacian can't grab it, and Metal Saucer can't grab it. So I was like, man, I could I could leave this in here, and it'd be really neat. But um, I'd rather just have something that I could grab off of Zacian and Metal Saucer. Yeah. yeah. But, like, I'll be honest. If I'm playing, I think, watching the Entei deck play, you might want to go second as Entei. Because if you, f you can fill your bench up and swing turn one. Man, that's what, like three telescopic sights? Yeah. I remember when this first set, this set first came out, no one could find telescopic sights. Like, Ooh, I pulled one, mechanic. and like three people were asking me that for it because cool. they didn't pull any. We're down to, what, three packs now? Yep. yep. That Magirna is really cool, too, for single prizer, like GLC uh, formats. It's a uh, first attack is a metal energy, and you shuffle your hand into your deck and draw six cards. That is neat. Again... I I understand why they uh you know they power creep cards because they have to encourage people to buy more and more cards, but I feel like Magic you know doesn't print as many unplayable cards as Pokemon does. Yeah, um, Magic also prints cards that like Magic prints cards that have an effect that make an entire type of card relevant. Yeah. Like, is every elf card individually in Magic relevant because of itself? No. But the one elf that powers up every other elf and lets you summon them for free makes any elf in the format relevant. Yeah, and then they do, like, lots of... 
Um, God, this is super old school. I, I never, like, I, I know how to play Magic. I never learned how to play Magic well. But I remember my friend trying to teach me how to play Magic. And he's like, here, this is my Sliver deck. And all the, the Slivers, like, okay. Slivers are such a cool concept. Yeah, like, Slivers <laughs> is like, okay, this Sliver says all sliv- Slivers get this ability. This Sliver says all Slivers yeah. get this ability. So you end up with, like, three or four on the board. And then they're just super busted. All right, this is the last card, right? Last yeah. hope, last hope. We've had ten hits in yeah. this booster box. All right, if this isn't my my Dust Noir, I need everyone in the chat to go look through their cards, find me the Dust Noir from Vivid Voltage, and... Uh, <laughs> because he doesn't want to go look for his copy of it. God, yeah, I, I have so much stuff. We, listen, actually, I, I have Vivid Voltage ETB. I wonder if I got around to sorting stuff into it. What is that, the Samurai? Yeah. Man. All right. So, this was a pretty good box. This was busted. Yeah. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, you got some really good pulls. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, Vivid Voltage just wasn't a great set. <laughs> like, wasn't a great set, but, you know, Gold Cape of Toughness and yeah. Chonkachu. Yeah. And the, and the Aegis, Aegis Slash set. Yeah. Again, I the whole set. The, the full art is just a phenomenal card. That's three matching sets that I've now pulled in yep. uh, different booster boxes, respectively. Because I pulled the Lapras V and VMAX. I've pulled Pikachu and, and Aegislash V and VMAX. That's solid. Yeah. All right. Anyway, you've been watching twitch.tv slash kingjester719. Not twitch.tv slash games, but this video will be on YouTube slash games. If you're watching on the live stream, don't go anywhere. But if you're on the YouTube, this is the end of the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow us on social media. Mine's up there. His is King Jester on Twitter. Uh, uh, it's King Jester something. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure if you, you want to find me on Twitter, it's not that hard. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Yeah, there you go. Uh, enjoy those codes. Uh, did you do one for the last set? I did not. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I don't remember you doing one for the last box. <laughs> we definitely forgot on that one. Hey, look, we got to keep them guessing. <laughs> yeah, I got to keep them guessing. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy the video, but that's it for me in this video. We, we yep. still got two more boxes. Yep. God, we're in this for the long haul. Bye, everyone. Bye.